time to meet an adoptable pet from the Humane Society of Washington County. It's the podcast on our Live 96.7 social streams, sponsored by Central Dogma, a healthy place for pets naturally. Here's Ryan Smetzer. Well, good morning, y'all. Welcome to another episode of the podcast where each and every week we feature an adoptable pet from the Humane Society of Washington County. Thanks again to our friends over at Central Dogma, a healthy place for pets naturally for sponsoring the podcast each and every week. And today we have got an awesome and amazing cat on the podcast. Say hello to Marmalade. Good morning, guys, and good morning to Marmalade. How are y'all? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Marmalade's having a little trouble, trouble uh, waking, waking up, up today, today staying, staying up, up. But, but. <laughs> I was going to say, so before right. we went on, he was just kind of like frolicking about the space, doing his thing. And then right before we went live, he was like, you know what? If you guys aren't going live yet, I'm taking a nap. That's my that's my goal here. Yeah, he <laughs> got tired of waiting. waiting. <laughs> <laughs> and he is just snoozing down. So tell us a little bit about this awesome cat today. Yeah, yeah so, so Marmalade, Marmalade is, is uh, one, one and a half, half years, years old, old and he came, came to us as a stray, so we don't know a lot about his background. background. He's, he's relatively, relatively new here to the shelter. shelter. There's, There's a lot of walking around, around going on, and he's just watching, watching everyone. everyone. <laughs> he's but he's a friend boy. He likes <laughs> to be <laughs> pet, and uh, not really, really playing, playing too much today, today but, but just, just taking, taking it all in. <laughs> Yeah, he loves getting a little bit of that love and attention, of course. Uh, I noticed he mm-hmm. loves making those biscuits there inside of his yes. uh, little eating area. Um, but definitely <laughs> just seems like a really awesome kind of lovey-dovey, snuggly kind of cat that that also loves to have a little bit of fun, but also loves to kick back and chill, right? Yeah, he's got, got a little, got little bit of both. both. He's, he's just a laid-back laid guy, guy so, so soft, soft too. too. got a pet on him. <laughs> I was going to say, he has that same soft texture as one of my cats, Crush. So as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, he's a soft one. That is for sure. Yeah, he is (laughs) super super soft. soft. (laughs) That's amazing. Now, if somebody's interested in coming by to pay Marmalade a visit um, and, you know, uh, give him a little bit of petting and and hopefully not wake him up from his nap, how can they go about doing that? (laughs) Just Just come come in. in. We We open open at at 1 today. today. He's He's here in our adoption adoption lobby. lobby. So he's not in the cat room. He's here in the lobby. lobby. And uh, hopefully hopefully he'll he'll be awake by (laughs) (laughs) 1. I mean, I can't blame him. You know, it's a rainy day. Like, it's a little bit more gloomy. Like, he's like, I just want to nap the day away. It's That's my goal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean he, knows he knows how, how to, to live, live life, life. Clearly, clearly. He's, he's all about, about comfort, comfort and that, that self-care. self-care so. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, 100%. Now, over the weekend, you guys had your big fundraiser, Lou Howell, and it seemed to have been a massive success. Tell us a little bit about how it went down and how people can still help out. Yeah, yes, so we so had we our, our 18th, 18th annual Lou Howell, and this is a, a yearly event, event that we have, have where all the proceeds benefit our stay in your programs. And, and this, this year, year we raised $28,000, uh, uh, at least $28,000, and we still have some virtual raffles, raffles that will be throughout the month of June. June. Uh, right now we have a margarita basket that is being raffled off this week, and people can enter on our Facebook page by donating $5, gets you entered once, um, and if you donate 20 you get entered six times. So. Check those out on our Facebook page. Each week there will be something different. Um, we had a winner just uh, on Monday for our first basket. Now we're on the second one, but those will continue throughout the rest of the month. And again, all of that money goes towards our spay and neuter programs as well. That's fantastic. I mean, I think that's just, it's such a great way to kind of continue on with the awesome success that you guys had with Lou Howell, but also give somebody an opportunity to win some amazing prizes. And of course, it all goes towards just all the amazing things that you guys are doing there with the spay and neuter program and with the Humane Society of Washington County and taking care of yeah. this little dude right here who <laughs> is making me want to go take a nap. Um, he is just, I, I love it though. It's adorable. Like he has just got this, this cute just i'm just sleepy energy going on right now <laughs> yeah he'd be, he'd be great, great to just, to just cuddle, cuddle up with and take a nap, nap on a rainy day, day like, like today. today well and it's you know you get to see this side of cats that like you know every cat has the i just want to lay down and snuggle side to them and so mm-hmm. we're getting to see marmalade side today <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's so, so sweet. sweet. Amazing. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you, Marmalade. Hope you get snatched up soon and you get your own awesome <laughs> cuddle partner and cuddle companion um, and, and another future <laughs> awesome home here soon. 
Yes, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Absolutely. Well, hey guys, if you want to adopt a marmalade or any of the fabulous pets over there at the Humane Society of Washington County, you can go about doing so by heading over to their website at hswcmd.org to check out their full adoption gallery. Thanks again for watching another episode of the podcast. We'll see you back again here next Wednesday at 9 a.m.